music method for kids. Hey, how is everyone doing? Here is the second video. In the first video, you should have learned how to tune your ukulele. And now we're gonna learn to play some very simple things to the One Room Schoolhouse children. We'll be doing this in person. And I know some random people will be watching this who don't know me, but I teach private lessons as well and over at a little school. So here is our first ukulele lesson. We learned how to tune it, or maybe your parent helped you tune the guitar. And now we're gonna do our first very simple lesson. We can do this in two ways. So I love using my fingers because I like to do this kind of stuff. But you can also use a pick. In a pick, you can kind of play faster. You can do this kind of stuff. So they're both great, different techniques for different things. I have most students start just with their fingers because picks are really easy to lose and they're very hard to find. <laughs> and you always have your fingers, right? Can everyone check? How many people have fingers? Yeah, we have fingers. How many of you have a pick lying around? Maybe a couple people, right? Your parents might play guitar or something or maybe one came with your ukulele. But they're easy to lose and hard to find. But you're welcome to use a pick. On fingers, we're just going to use our thumb for now. If you choose to use a pick, I'll spend a second here talking about that. We have these two fingers. I rest it, I kind of bend my index finger and I just rest it on that first joint like that and then my thumb covers it up, right? So my hand's straight like I'm holding a tray. I bend that index finger. I'm gonna put the pick right there on that first joint of my index finger pointing towards this guy. See how it's got a pointier part, like a heart, it's upside down. And then I cover it, boop, that's it. I can play it like this, right? And I hold it pretty light. I'm not like holding it real tight. I have it pretty, very loose. I guess I could show you this way too. Your hand straight, bend it. That covers the top. Now it's pointing down, right? And I just, my thumb goes there. Boop, put it there, close it. Now you can pick. So if you have your pick, that's how you do it. Or you can just use your thumb because everyone's got a thumb. Most people have thumbs, right? All right, so all we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna play this string and our strings are Groovy cats eat anchovies. Groovy, G, G, right? G, G. Groovy cats, K, K, cat, that's a C. G, C. Then eat is E. That's a note E. And then anchovies, eh. That's a note A. So your strings are G, C, E, A. We actually, this is gonna confuse you for a little while. We count backwards. This is four, this is three, this is two. This is one. So when we're, when we're counting our strings, we count from the floor way down up. So string one, string two, string three, and string four. But when we say it, groovy cats, we go down. Groovy cats eat anchovies. So we're gonna do anchovies, that A string, the first string, and we're just gonna play it eight times with our thumb. One, two, ready, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I should have mentioned this already, but how you want to sit with your ukulele, there is no absolute correct way and no wrong way. You don't want to hold it like this. That doesn't really work. <laughs> you don't want to hold it like a pizza. It, you know, it's kind of fun to play with it flat, but you don't want to play it like a pizza, right? A ukulele is not a pizza, believe it or not. No, you don't want to eat it. So it's you, you don't want to hold it flat, you want it like this. Now I tend to, you can't really see me, but I have one of my legs crossed over the other, so it's a little higher. And I just hold it like this. Uh, ideally, you don't want to have to hold it with your left hand, because you want this hand to be able to move around. Eventually we're going to be playing different things. So you don't want to have to hold it, because then how can you move it to play that cool stuff? So I am putting my forearm on it usually and like kind of holding it between my leg and my arm. And you can have your fingers down here if you want to, but eventually we're gonna need all these fingers. So you really wanna get comfortable and sit in a way where it's basically just your forearm kind of like hugging it close to your body. If you have to hold it a little bit here, that's okay. You'll get better at it as you play more. So we're gonna try that one more time. We're gonna play this high E string eight times. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go to the second string. Groovy cats eat. That's a note E. We're gonna play the second string eight times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to the next one. Two, three, and G 
just watch my thumb. Seven, eight, then go to the next string. I'll slow down, sorry. All right, that's what it's gonna look like. Now we're gonna try and play each string eight times, starting from the first string. This one's all the way here. And you're just gonna hold, you can keep your left hand here, but if it sounds buzzy, like that, like it kind of just farts out, doesn't sound good, it's because your left hand's accidentally touching the strings. You wanna lift it. You only want your thumb to hit it so it rings. Look what happens if a part of my, my hand here touches the string. Sounds buzzy. Or if you have a long sleeve shirt on, your shirt might be touching the string and it doesn't sound good. So you just wanna hit it and let it ring. So I'll exaggerate this with my hand. I'll get it out of the way. <laughs> I don't want you to do that, but make sure when you play it, your hand's floating, right? I'm not accidentally touching the string like this afterwards. I play it and I let it ring. So let's do all of them nice and slow and you can sing along. You can just sing the numbers. We'll sing one through eight and we'll do every string starting on the first. So start here and we'll do it eight times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the second string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the third string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the next string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is kind of your homework. I don't, I don't like using the word homework, but that's what you should be practicing this week and have fun doing. This should be your play this week. You have two things to play with. One is remembering your strings. One, two, three, four. The other one is remembering their names, which go the other way. Groovy cats eat anchovies. Disgusting, right? Like, I actually kind of like anchovies. What about you guys? Huh? Huh? So that's it. Groovy cats eat anchovies. So that means G, C, E, A. And then when we count them, we start from the floor and count up to the ceiling, right? This is the first floor of a building, the second floor, the third floor, and the fourth. And then you can practice playing each one eight times, and that's it. And we're gonna do it again right now, each one eight times. And what you can do to practice is you can do it alone, or you can just rewind the video a little bit and keep practicing with me. So let's end with us playing it together. And that's been it, Mike's Music Method, your first ukulele lesson. Let's do it. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And feel free to sing with me because a big part of music, a huge part of music, the biggest part of music, way more important than your instrument actually, is, what do you think? Most important part of music? Your ear, right? Our ear is gonna help us with music in so many ways. So the quicker we can get our voice to match our ear and our ear to match our voice, so when we hear a note, can you find it? You can say hello, 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 hello. But we'll talk more about that later. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, guys. Later. Bye-bye. Ciao.